What's up guys, it's Nick here and I'm back with a brand new video. So, um, this is the video I've been wanting to do for a while and one I promised you guys a while back. Let me explain the backstory. So a month and a half ago I made this video right here where I showed you guys me moving my stuff out into my browser room because my room was going to be remodeled. Basically, that giant wall you guys saw that I told you guys was going to be removed, it was removed and then my room was repainted. And so I moved into my brother's room, which is right here, for about, like what, three days. And then my brother came back from college and so I ended up staying in my sister's new room um, for about a week. And then my room got finished and then I kind of slowly started moving my stuff in or my, my, my mom kind of moved most of my stuff in and um, you know we kind of got added new things into it I kind of moved some stuff out that was in the way and originally I didn't want to do this right now because some of my brother's stuff is still in my room like his clothes and some stuff in my closet but like the thing is the reason that's in there is because my uncle is also working on my brother's room to repaint it but my uncle hasn't been here for I don't know how long almost a month or like three or four weeks, I don't know, somewhere around there. And he hasn't been coming at all, so, you know, I'm kind of, I'm sort of getting impatient because for one, um, he started this a month ago. Two, I'm running out of ideas, I'm bored, I want to film something because my channel is dying. And um, just to show you guys already, and I don't even think that that stuff that's in my, that in my room that belongs to my brother's not like that, that big of a deal for me to like, st like to not make the video, like to put the video on hold. But that's why I'm gonna do it now. So, uh, so um, bef now the reason I'm actually premiering this video and not like actually like uploading it is because I have an announcement to make at the end of the video, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna skip through. And um, also, I want to say something. Uh, I'm also gonna say it towards the end of the video, but that's why I made a, a premiere. So make sure to stay tuned to the end until the end of the video for an announcement. So yeah, let's get started with the room tour. All right, starting with the first room tour after two, almost two years. So, this is in the hallway of my house, sort of. And now the door is in like a much uh, different spot. Some of you know the last time you just go further down, you see the bathroom, then my door to my room and then the wall. Well, now the wall is completely gone. So now you see the door, you walk in the hallway. Now this is the sign I actually used when I'm actually recording a video. I, put, I actually put a do not disturb sign currently recording a video. Don't knock the door if you need anything for me to finish. Now the thing is, all the time, my sister, when I'm recording, near my door lock, she always takes the sign, hides it somewhere next, like I never put it and starts knocking on the door when I'm recording and I hate that. So I think I might need to get something like, one you can plug in with like lights in it and like, they, like if she tries to take it off, she can't because it's kind of like drills the door and like I would know because it's also electric so it's plugged into the room because there are no outlets around here as you guys can see now oh, so yeah i might need one of those but anyways so that's the sign i, I use and uh, so walk into the room and this is what you wow the camera turned into a weird pinkish effect because it was in a room with like so much yellow light but it's gonna adjust and as you can see just from alone here the the room is much bigger so what they removed is the wall, it was from here, it doesn't look like the wall print anymore because my uncle painted over it. You can still see some of the stuff here, around here, and uh, that's the wall they took out. It kind of went from right around here, and then kind of went to there, and that's where the door was, and now it's moved over here. So it's much bigger, and there's other stuff I'm sure you guys, but first I'll just show you the sink. Yeah. This is one that I that didn't include in my last room tour, but as you can see, uh, I think a lot of you have seen this sink already, but now it links with my room. And uh, the lights were kind of changed, it was like one of these, it's like three of them. You can like toggle the switches or the light bulbs whenever you want to turn one of them off. But yeah, um, now this, now there was an, uh, switches, they were like here, like there was, this one has always been here, this is the one to control the lights of the sink then it was this one to control the lights of the bathroom and let me show you guys a new bathroom i don't think i ever showed you guys but it looks different uh the last i don't know if i ever showed you guys my bathroom but i might have done in a couple live streams but before it was just like a small glass door that kind of reached from here and like some bricks kind of reached from here it was kind of a big gap now it's just a completely brick wall and we added curtains to it and um 
yeah, not a glass door, at least yet. We painted it green, we added that, so, you know, I could put all my stuff there. This is also here too. And uh, the light switch got moved from the outside to inside because all the time I was showering, my sister would always mess around with the light. Um, and this was before my room got remodeled, so no, it wasn't afterwards. But yeah, that's the sink and the bathroom, not too big. So, starting off here is my wardrobe next to my bed. That's my new frame, I'll show you in a bit. But I have three water bottles here. Now, I have three because these are all the ones I take to school. Because since we're in the middle of a pandemic, you know, all the water fountains are blocked, so I got to bring my own waters with me in case I, I'm thirsty. And this is the lamp that was on my desk. Um, we moved it here because out of everything, there's no more room to put my lamp on there. And, you know, all my, my TV used to go there. And uh, we can't really, like, fit all that there anymore, at least. Or We could, but my bed is not facing that way anymore. It's now facing towards over there. But, yeah, this was my old lamp. And here's my old pillow pad that I've had for about 10 years. I still have it. Now, the thing is, I use this light way more than oh god <laughs> i used to slight my my lamp way more than that because that is too freaking bright still but if you notice before i showed you guys it was like an, an orangish color now it's like a white color but i still kind of keep it off and have my um my lamp off now one one other thing is if you have like the lights off here but you have um this light on it looks better at night, but it kind of gives you a um, hotel vibe. Like if you're in a hotel, like you're just laying down. And from the view here, you can see a, um, it kind of looks like a hotel. It kind of reminds me of like if I'm, in, if, like if I'm in San Antonio. It looks better at night. Um, it is kind of dark a little bit. It's like, what, 6.11 right now? Sun doesn't set to around 6.40ish. But yeah, if it was night, it would look way cooler than, you know, it looks right now. Now showing you guys what's in my wardrobes, it's actually, the last time it was so messy, but now it's way more organized, so I'm going to start off on the top one, and um, this one kind of has a lot of stuff in it, that's why if I let go it'll kind of move down like this, I'm not trying to do that right now, but my so let me turn the lamp on so you guys can see some better light, there we go, so here are all my video games I have, my, this is some old Pac-Man thing that I I can plug into the, to the TV and I can play old retro games made by Namco, the creators of Pac-Man. Here I have Wii games. Uh, I have a lot. Um, these are the ones that belong to me, not all the Wii games, because there are a couple that belong to my brother. Here, oh, here's one 3DS game, but all my 3DS games are up there. I don't really feel like pulling them out because, you know, it's going to be a mess. And uh, here I have... Um, Wii Nunchucks, Wii Remotes with empty batteries, missing battery covers. Here's the Foster's game for the DS that I, um, basically, I just have it here because I don't have, like, a, like, a holder for it. Over here is some Amiibo Reader thingy. It's my 3DS charger. Here are all my Nintendo Switch games. And, uh, this is, like, a little bitch for, uh, Joy-Cons and stuff like that. And here is my old 3DS. Right here, this is my 3DS that I got in Christmas of 2012. Kind of a backstory I want to explain to you guys. So I got this in Christmas of 2012. Then 2013, for some reason, I bought a 2DS, and then you know I gave this to my brother. And in 2017, I broke my 2DS, and then in 2018, my brother found this, but he gave it to his friend. His friend never really used it, so he returned it, and then he just gave it back to me. And uh, I kind of reset it and added some stuff on it. I don't play as much anymore. Uh, I was so excited to get it in May because I thought I was going to mess around with it a lot, but I really didn't. Yeah, last time I played this was like a month ago, like a while back. I was playing Amara 64, and uh, that's what kind of gave me the idea to do that uh, that video I made where I put the the Mario effects over uh, Grand Theft Auto Police Chase. But yeah, this is definitely... I do have a lot of memories with this, though. It was a lot of fun when I got uh, Animal Crossing for the 3DS for the first time. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, that's the top the top drawer where all my games are. And now the bottom wardrobe, it's different things, but it's, it's a little messy. It's not super messy, but I'll show you guys what I have. So it's kind of like some of my accessories. This is my extra camera battery. Um, these are school IDs, not gonna show them. This is my current one. 
also not showing this because of you know privacy reasons and even if i turn it around i have to blur it which defeats the whole purpose of turning it around or like showing it so and this is my house key of course um this is my uh phone mount um what i use in case like my camera dies and i don't have anything else like i use my phone to record when i you know my tripod this is some sort of pocket thingy for your otterbox case uh i don't know and I have another one in here, but this is the box of my phone case at the moment right now. And, uh, yeah, I might get a new one. I don't know. I have no idea. It's kind of bulky, but here's Wallet, uh, Beverly Hills Polo Club. I forgot who gave this to me, but here's my Apple Watch box, my Series 3 box, which is the current watch I have right now. It's 621. And I did not put this in correctly because it is now standing on my stuff. But, um, what else do I have in here? Oh, hold on. Okay, and I have, um, I have this right here. This is my, um, earbuds box where I got my wired earbuds. And, um, over here is my AirPods box. And, uh, yeah, here I have a push pin or thumb thack, um, this was when I posted something up on the wall. My mom doesn't want me doing that now because the paint is new. So she wanted to get all like, you know, to get all like, or to mess it up. And uh, that, that over here I'm trying to pull out is, this is the key of my room. So, you know, in case I'm out, I don't want anyone in my room, I lock it. Over here, I have an extra watch band. Um, it's covered in dust. Oh my God, just look at that. And here I have a 16 gigabyte SanDisk flash drive. This is in case if I'm ever like, if I need to like import stuff between different devices, but I can't do it like Bluetooth or, you know, stuff like that. I keep it with me. I've needed this a lot of times. This is a not, <laughs> this is not a pill, not a real one. It's a little toy pill my friend gave me, sort of. Uh, it's fake. There's a little note in it. Uh, I don't really feel like pulling it out, but... If I can, yeah, I'm not going to right there now. Over here, I have a sticker my friend gave me. It's this guy in a truck. Or in a Jeep, I'm sorry. No, I'm dumb. This is not a truck, a Jeep. And some guy, some stick figure guy just waving out. And then here is another sticker. This is Kenny from South Park. And I really like this because, you know, <laughs> it's always funny when you know you can't really hear Kenny well because his all his mouth all muffled with his jacket and he dies in the in the show a lot. Over here I showed that already. Um and then here is some more watch bands. These are unopened but these are like cheaper ones. But this is for my uh this is extra ones in case if my uh, watch band something happened to it. Here's another watch band. Um this one I'm probably not gonna use and then uh, they have more other stuff. And then this is some my Nintendo Switch Online membership. I bought this back in August, so it's been two months now. So I have to pay again in ten months. And then another watch band. This is um, this over here. It's actually one of my teacher's CDs. Uh, he actually makes music, and uh, I have I got this like in when when summer 2019 started. And I have him as a teacher right now for like AV production. I'm learning how to edit and that kind of stuff. And then here I just have like train schedules. This is the manual for my tripod. I'm not really gonna go full into detail with that. So I don't wanna make it all messy. No, I showed you guys that. I don't know if I did said it, but I think some sort of email I got from Google AdSense, which is my current source of YouTube revenue, or that's what, that's the company that like currently pays me at the moment. So that's the bottom wardrobe and uh, yeah. And over here, this is my bed. Um, this is my new bed frame. You notice before, it was just like a normal frame, or like it wasn't really a frame, kind of just where you put the bed and it had wheels on it. This one doesn't, but it kind of moves easily still. And my bed is actually like not like what you call it, it's not as wide as the whole frame, it's like kind of small. You can't really see it because the cover's blocking it. If you go more here, you can't notice it too much. It's more noticeable on this side probably because I think it's closer to there, but this is a new frame uh, It does kind of bother me sometimes because I'm laying down and I could still um, This could still kind of push it and it already sort of messed the paint up and sometimes pushing all the way back It doesn't probably work. It's probably because of my lamp cord if you 
can probably see it down there, but yeah, that kind of blocks it from pushing it in all the way. But it's I still have the same like blanket and that kind of stuff. Just the frame is different. And uh, let's take a look into here. This is closet number one, and the doors are different. They don't not, they're not ones that like you pull them and they kind of slide out. These are now like sliding doors, which is much more convenient. So I'm not gonna show you. This is all my brother's stuff, sort of around here. This is my school backpack and this is a backpack I take on like trips like when I'm out rail fanning or if I'm going on vacation or something like that and uh, up here I have some boxes this is the box of my mom's Canon T6 this is my power shop box uh, GoPro box and then I have my uh, hold on I have my camera case my, my power shop uh, right over here I don't want to feel like moving it because it's kind of kind of make a mess, but yeah. And then my dad found this a while back. This is a computer case or something like that. Um, it's branded Dell, so yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure my computer fits in this. He found this a while back. It's kind of dusty. Might have to clean that out, but um, yeah. So the other stuff in here is just my brother's stuff. That's why I'm not really going to show it. And there is my desk. So this is um, where I'm, I don't really use this that much. I mean, I didn't use it too much, like at least to sit and like do my homework and stuff like that because now I come to my bed. But I'll show you guys what I have here. All my train schedules and bus schedules and other stuff like that. Some of for like railroads outside, even like out of here. Um, some that my friend gave me. Pencil stash, uh, but some of these pencils are garbage. Uh, the ones that are not branded, like, um, or do I still have here? Most of these, like, crazy arts, they're horrible because they, the lead breaks too easily. AirPods case. This is AirPods first gen, and this is what I use. It's getting quiet now, probably use a melted earwax in here, uh, and I don't know how to clean it out. I tried to with Q-tips, does not work. And I could use an electric AirPod cleaner. It's $40 though, so I don't know if I'll get that. Here are my wired earbuds. Um, these are much louder than my AirPods because I'm using that much, so they're cleaner. But um, yeah, I like these. And um, this is what I use for like my Nintendo Switch, my computer, because especially for my Nintendo Switch that does not have Bluetooth. And here's my Switch right here. Is it powered on? Oh, yeah, so this is my Nintendo Switch right here. My Joy-Cons are on that because nowadays I don't barely use my Switch anymore. I don't even know how long it's been since I played Animal Crossing. It's been a month at least. And here's my TV. We still have the messy cords, uh, messy amount of cords. Oh, here's my Wii, the Nintendo Wii. Um, I don't, I barely use this, uh, unless I'm like super bored and I want to play Wii Sports or some game like that. Here are my Switch Joy-Cons. Here is the mess of cables. Yes, I know, I just got this a month and I already messed up the cables, they're all messy. Now, the frame for the TV, it used to be you could pull it back, but now it's just one that you can like pull up and down like that. I, I don't know, I adjust it this way, I, I, probably because I... Have I am holding the camera on this hand? It's not super easy for me. I don't have enough like force, you know, when like two hands. And then here's my school Chromebook. A lot of oh, oh my god, I hit my my poor Joy Cons. Here is my Chromebook, um, school Chromebook. A lot of you have probably already seen this. This is my chair. This is my current sweater. This is one I took to school. And um, I need a new chair desperately because this one can still kind of bounce back like that and, you know, it can make people fall. And, yeah, over here is, um, over here, it's just like a power hub where I have a lot of cables. My phone cable, Apple Watch cable, Chromebook charger, Nintendo Switch uh, charger, MacBook charger, and my portable battery charger. And this portable battery is garbage. It dies too quickly. And, uh, yeah, here's my Apple Watch charger, what I used to charge my watch. Here's my MacBook, my 2015 MacBook Air, and I absolutely love this computer. It's it's amazing. Here's a Magic Mouse, and this is this is not mine. This is my dad's, but he barely uses it. Um, now I'm not taking it from him. I just like keep it in here because I'm the one who uses it more. I still his, but like I don't really use it too much on Mac OS. On Windows, I do because the sensitivity on the trackpad is terrible, and controlling it doesn't really do much. So the mouse is much better. And uh, yeah, so that's my MacBook, and this is my 
uh, magic mouse. Over here is my calculator, my math calculator. I don't use this that much. I should really start taking this to school. So back then it was super damn dirty. It was like, it had like, cause before, I think we left it in the car and it kind of like some like, I think milk spilled on it and it got like expired milk or something. I cleaned it out and now it looks so much better and it just turned on. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. It's gonna take a while to turn off. No problemo. And over here is my iPhone 8. Uh, this is my main phone right now, it's an iPhone 8 Plus. And yes, I do have this as my wallpaper. So that's how you can tell I'm super obsessed with technology, but it looks cool. Then you got this and you know, you're an iOS 14 and it's so cool with all the widgets and stuff like that. Yeah, I absolutely love this phone. And um, yeah, so that's my desk. And actually from the first show you guys is the mess of cables reaches my, this is my phone charger sort of and got my MacBook charger down there. It's magnetic, which is cool. And then my Chromebook charger kind of just laying there. So that's the desk, that's my desk. And now let's move on to my closet. So this is nothing too interesting, just clothes and stuff. Uh, my shoes and that kind of stuff. And up here I just have socks that like are not in pairs. These are my goggles for the pool. Um, hold on, I got these. These are older ones, uh, backup I think. And this is some stuff from church. And yeah, this box too. And then going to the other side, over here, I just have my stash, stash of dirty clothes in there, not here anymore. Up here, I have my tripod bag, and there is my older one, my green one, the Target one. So, yeah. And over here, kind of some stuff in here. I have my old MacBook. This is actually the original MacBook, like the first ever MacBook ever made. And it's cool. I just kind of have it laying there. So I only use this just when I need to, like, when my three, my iPhone 3GS needs to read jailbreak after the battery dies, I kind of like, because it's a tethered jailbreak, so I have to connect to a computer, and this is the only one that will actually work with it. But, yeah, this is an old dinosaur. This used to belong to my dad. He stopped using it, like, years ago, and he gave it to me, like, a couple months ago, back in May or stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't really use this other, again, to, to read jailbreak, but maybe in case of, like, I need to watch movies or something, this does have a CD drive, so I guess that's cool. You know, I can watch DVDs in here, so I guess there's that. The web browser doesn't work that much on here, so it's kind of pointless. Um, yeah, that's basically all I use it for. For now, that's all I've, all I've used it is to read jailbreak my 3GS and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it's going to take a while. I'm just going to shut that off. But, yeah, and then I have some stuff in here. I just have, oh, this is underwear. Uh, socks, dark ones, and then light socks. In here, I have nothing. Um, and there's actually, hold on, there's something else I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys the drawers of my desk. So in here, I don't have much stuff. I have, like, what do you call? Letter sheet protectors. Uh, this is, a. Uh, I'll put that out to show you guys. And the unknown oh, note uh, that my sister gave me for my birthday, she highlighted it. There's another paper. This is my school enrollment. I don't want you guys seeing that. I have uh, dividers and I just like some of that kind of stuff. And here's where I also put the sign where I'm recording. In here, there's not much. Uh, I'm gonna drop this. This is an old iPad case. This is actually for the iPad too. My sister was using this and she, you know, gave it back like a week. No, not a week ago. Like three weeks ago because. Um, you know, it was getting super dirty and she didn't really like it, so I'm just keeping it so when she gives me back the iPad and I, you know, give her, give her an iPod touch, so I'm just gonna keep this, so. I have a train magazine, I got this back in May, and then I have some other stuff here. It's that little project I did, um, that now my mom doesn't want it there because she thinks it'll mess up the paint, but, yeah, so that's that. And, oh my god, there's so much cables, this thing is falling over, but alright, now I'm gonna show you guys the last part. Last part is my new drawer for clothing. So, it looks much newer, it's not broken in any way, and you know, it's much easier to navigate. Now, here I have another power hub. This is the one I had, like when I used to have my TV up here. I use this just like I need to charge my GoPro, or, like my older phones, so it's off. This is my selfie stick. Uh, funny story, you guys. Um, so, my friend and I were being stupid. We were, I was recording with my GoPro on the 
in his pool and the, the vacuum it got rid of the headphone jack that one that would connect to the phone and it broke it so and then the I, I felt like the whole thing starting to come out like trying to push it here like I kind of felt cables I was like huh what's happening and I pulled it out and I saw the broken cable you know and then there was just water all over it so this button is kind of useless now it's in a cyan color which I don't hate it but it's eh here's another selfie stick I had um this is an Impal one this one was my dad got it he found it somewhere and uh, no one uses it so I keep it I guess it's a spare spare selfie stick here's my mini tripod my vlogging one this is I got this like in um, 2018 um, Here's an SD card slot for my GoPro or like the little holder for it. Uh, the current SD cards are my GoPro. And here are all the pieces of tech. So here is an iPod Classic 5th generation. This um, used to belong to my dad and then he just, you know, there was nothing on here after a while. So, you know, I just kind of, like there's nothing on here. I found it, there was like no songs, it was completely empty. And so I kind of added my own music. So let's show you guys. This is, oh, hold on, wrong, wrong music, uh, wrong setting music. So I said songs, but yeah, and you guys can hear that damn fly, but I have a lot of music on here. This is like music that I use in some of my videos, but this is a pretty cool device. I actually took this out on a walk once, and people probably thought I was an idiot, or they thought I looked like one, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. Screen is all scratched uh, from here. It just kind of looks like it's super dirty, but it's really scratched. Also, the back because it's stainless steel, so you can't be exactly surprised. Anyways, here's my iPhone 3GS, and oh boy, I get a lot of notifications. So, you guys, ready to hear that satisfying noise? Ah uh, man, oh what the hell? What did it just? It just opened iTunes. Oh oh, what the hell? Okay, I don't know what that was for, but. This is my iPhone 3GS, still in its jailbroken state. Let me lower the brightness because the camera can pick it up well. We had still running iOS 6. I have not downgraded it yet to iOS 4 because we must do tech review first. And I don't know what's taking me so long, but I do have some stuff on here. I have the older YouTube, old Instagram, Facebook, and older games like Tic-Tac-Toe. Even though now you can get the old Instagram logo back um, now for a new update, which is super cool. And uh, yeah, so that's my iPhone 3GS. Pretty cool device. And here is the pride, prime of my collection, iPhone 4S, uh, definitely. Okay, sorry, my video got cut out. But I was saying, this is iPhone 4S and iOS 9, and it's terribly slow. Just look at this. It's pretty horrific. Well, not maybe here. Um, yeah, but you get the idea. It's actually using it, but this is the pride of my collection, what I've been wanting to have for the longest time now. I finally got it, and it's super cool. Um, I'm, I, I told you guys already that I'm going to downgrade this to iOS 8, and uh, I am going to eventually. So over here is my iPhone 6. Uh, so this is my iPhone 6 right here. This one is the one I also jailbroke, and this is had, that's when I downloaded the iPhone 10 tweaks. I lived with this for a week uh, last month when I lost my phone, and believe me when I told you guys, it was so bad. I, I hated it. I don't want to go back to this, but yeah. Nowadays, it's not a good phone. If you still have one, I just upgrade. You buy an iPhone, I don't know, SE, something. Just get something. But yeah, iPhone 6, it's in pretty bad shape, as you can see. Housing is all bad. Button is missing, screen is cracked, and chunk missing. So, it's, I, guess, I mean, I guess the iPhone 10 tweaks help with that. And over here is my iPhone SE housing, which used to be my old iPhone. And uh, I don't know why I took the screen off, because I'm an idiot. And the uh, battery's still connected, so it probably won't work anymore unless I put a new one in. And, um, yeah, but, you know, I can use this for B-roll unless I get another iPhone SE, which would be super cool, but, yeah. And over here is my clock. Uh, yeah, it's now 6.44. I've been filming for a while now. My radio. This is one I go at rail fitting if I ever need to hear stuff. It's the same one I had for two years. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy a new one. At one point, I will. I just don't know when. Uh, my GoPro Hero 7. This is what I use for underwater videos. I filmed underwater with this a lot this summer. Uh, when I went to my friend's house and their pool, my face mask, you know, everyone has one nowadays. Um, oh, it's a little pocket knife. Uh, I don't really use this unless it's, I only use this just to open stuff. Like, let's say, like a package comes in or something and I don't slide all the way. And um, here's my hat. If I ever go outside, I'm outside for a good while. If it's hotter, if I'm like out somewhere, that's my hat. This is some stuff. And over here is just some God-related stuff. 
cross uh, I don't know why I haven't put that up there like usually we put that up like it's before when the wall was there we had it up there and now I don't know why my mom never put it up there this I think it's just gonna stay here and these were also uh, up on the wall I don't know why my mom has not hanged these either but yeah so that's about it and last final thing uh, yeah that freaking fly won't shut up but do you just get the view from out here it's not much all you see is this stuff and that's just about it but yeah so that is the entire room tour i don't even know how long this video is like i don't know it looks like 30 minutes ish i don't know but it's a pretty long tour just to show you guys around um oh one one last thing oh yeah this is my power shop battery charger i completely forgot about this and my battery's been there for a while i should probably take it off before it actually well, before I kill it, but yeah, so that, that's the whole room tour, guys. So, one last glimpse at the whole room. So, I'm not going too fast, I want to make you guys dizzy, but yeah, whole glimpse of my room. And um, tell me how you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked it. And um, I personally living in here, it's been, it's been good. I liked it. It's better than my other room for sure, although I do kind of miss it, but it's whatever, I guess. So, um, now to the announcement I wanted to make. So um, the first thing, actually before I make the announcement, one thing I want to say is originally I was going to film this on my mom's Rebel, or the Canon Rebel T6i. This video, I made it where I got her that for Christmas. I was going to, I was going to film with that because, I don't know, I was kind of trying to get some practice for when I actually get this camera right here, the Panasonic Lumix GH5. Um, in the future, when I get enough money for it, and that'll upgrade my power shot, my current power shot, and I'll also use it for a camera to film, like, um, what you call, like, a wreck of around the house or stuff like that. And uh, I guess for vlogs, I also was thinking of getting a Panasonic camcorder, the HCV 180K, to replace this. But I plan to do that in like two years from now, like in my 19th birthday when I'm already in college and hopefully in a new house and stuff like that. At the moment, I love my Vixia, you know, no problems with it, minus except my battery broke and the charging port's all wobbly, but they're not big enough to, you know, make me want to send it into Canon to have them fix it. But yeah, originally I was going to film this on my mom's Rebel, but I didn't film with it because I was having a lot of focus issues. Autofocus was not working. Manual focus, it was hard to control. So I was like, I'll just do this instead. So yeah. And now the announcement I wanted to make was video regarding my GoAnime videos. So it, I know I only made like one or two videos after I said I came back. And I haven't even done anything going back to Remastered because it's broken. And the other software wrapper offline doesn't work for me. And then, you know, I honestly don't even think that it's working like my method. Because even those videos I made were entertaining to some people. But, like, it hasn't gone viral yet. Like, they, they, they take long to get super viral. Like, I don't know how long they take. They take a good while. Like, my most popular video took at least two years before it actually got viral. So, like, I wouldn't see the whole point of that. And so, and also, again, I'm, like, I'm not really, like, like, I'm lazy to do those videos. So, I actually came here to make an announcement saying that I actually might stop doing that or you know considering making those videos for two reasons one because i guess it's not really helping me too much and two i'm actually going now applying for real jobs um i've already i've applied at target three times they declined me all the times me wondering why have i applied at target three times well first reason you know just normal like if i'm just looking for my first job uh, and they declined that one. Second reason was because you know, they said, hey, we're offering seasonal workers, and if you want to sign up, go ahead. So I was like, okay. They, they declined that one, and then they said they had a position available for a cashier, and I was like, that's what I signed up for. So I signed up for that again, and they declined it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work at Target. You know, works, I'm looking at some other places to work on, uh, to work at. I don't know where, though. I'm gonna think of some other places. But yeah, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually looking out for real jobs, I guess for now, until I can get a good amount of money. And, uh, that's why I'm probably not going to do go anime videos anymore. I'm probably just going to quit now. And I don't think this is surprising to you guys. Um, even though I didn't accomplish what I wanted to to come back. It's not really helping me that much anyway. So might as well just look out for real jobs. So yeah, this for some of you guys who have been patiently waiting for or who have been waiting for go anime videos. They're probably not going to happen at this point. Uh, I'll probably make an update video later about that, you know, confirming if I'm actually going to leave or not. And because, you know, when I actually get a, a real job and stuff like that. But 
Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. So it's kind of long. I don't even know how long it is. Like somewhere on 30 to 35 minutes. I have no idea. But yeah, I need a haircut. It's, it's long hair is bothering me. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a while since I filmed with this and like kind of showed my face. I don't even know how long it's been. But um, yeah, sorry for no, that not uploading that much. Again, I'm out of ideas and I guess I'm kind of lazy. I don't know. I don't know what videos I'll make next, but I'll think of something. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.